So. <laughs> I'll sell five. In today's video, we are welding in a new cat to our newest addition to the workshop. My name is Kamil, this is Gorilla Project Car, and this is BMW E46 Compact with N42 engine that I bought very, very cheap to flip it. Flip it. Oh, fuck the train. Today I want to tie up all the loose ends, uh, all the missing pieces that I didn't do before. So finish everything and weld in the newest, the, the cat, because we don't have one. It's actually the, the exhaust is disconnected. And just so you know, it's going to be a quick episode because um, I forgot my memory card. So I'm re recording on the iPhone and I have very little space to use because I never delete anything. Yeah, that's where we should have a cat. <laughs> This is what we are working with. This is the front. Uh, it goes to the manifold right there. And you can see that the shape of this is pretty bad, but um, with our cat, we still have to chop it a little bit uh, to the front to fit it nicely. And the back, well, that looks terrible. Also needs to be chopped a little bit, uh, straightened a little bit. And we're gonna need to add some material. If it goes here, it's fine, but we are misaligned there. So we have to adjust the front and the end part of the exhaust. Let's call them both ends and weld in our cat somehow in. And I'm gonna just tack weld it under the car because it's very uncomfortable and I'm not that good at welding. Uh, so I could weld in, weld it in fully by mus by keeping the exhaust in the car. I know there are people who can do that, but it's just not me, not yet. Uh, so we'll take the exhaust out after it's tacked and finish welding outside. We are missing like five centimeters, which is uh, around two inches of pipe from the cat to the rear exhaust. And yeah, I'm gonna use something I took out of this cool car <laughs> to fix that. Um, so here it is. This is the exhaust out of my Touring. As you can see, it's leaky, mismatched pipe, this, this, this is definitely not from BMW. Uh, this pipe is way too thin, uh, but this one, this one will do. And it looks like it's actually quite similar to what BMW would use. Uh, so we're gonna cut it off right here and then measure five centimeters and cut it uh, to get this piece because I think we might reuse the rest uh, we will definitely reuse this for the E4, E36 and we will weld a cat right here just like we do to this car. And if you are wondering why do I go into the trouble and expense, because cats are very expensive, that's why, we, well, that's why people steal them. Uh, why am I going through all of that just to fix a cat? Because um, this is a footage from today. Today is 14th of uh, December and I was driving to the workshop and no it's not a fog it is a smog and I think we could do a little bit better I mean how much power do we save without cat not much so we can leave them um, replace them it's not that bad you may hate me for saying that but I really don't care I like the planet I like petrol engine cars diesel cars I, I'm starting to like them if I can improve their emissions and make them safer to drive, I do that a thousand times instead of going electric because those cars suck. Especially in Poland, since we have electricity from coal, which is which beats the purpose of electric car in the first place. So without more talking, uh, 
everybody knows I love cars. Uh, let's let's cut the piece of this and get it to to the compact. <laughs> Typical BMW fashion, this exhaust has seen some modifications already in its life. Uh, like, it's caught and connected somehow there. Uh, there's a hole welded in, in the um, last muffler. And at the front, there's something ugly. I don't know what. I think we're gonna grind it and see uh, if we can weld it a little bit prettier since we have it out of the car. Other than that, it's just an exhaust, so I'm not sure we're gonna focus too much. Obviously, this is not perfect welding, but I think it's gonna be good enough. Um, I noticed that the rear muffler is completely rusted, so I'm doing a patch on it, but since um, it's corroded and the metal is very thin, it looks disgusting, but it's gonna work. Uh, but, another but, I gotta go home because the stores will close soon and I have nothing to eat. Well, we have nothing to eat. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and finish welding, put the exhaust on the car and it's gonna be done. I'm super excited about that. I, and I cannot wait, but it, I have to. Huh. So if you're curious about Jetta, I just did 763 kilometers on one fuel tank and that gives us 5.6 liters per 100 kilometers fuel consumption I was actually counting on like four and a half not five and a half but yeah we can work on it I definitely the car definitely needs alignment Whoa. It's called, we are back. Uh, today I finished welding the rear muffler and then put it on the car. Then we start it, vacuum it. No, then we vacuum it, start it, get it out of here and put Jetta in because I'm going back in the compact today, back home. So, let's get to work, but first I need to change. exhaust is under the car now I need to connect it and we're gonna test it <laughs>
So. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the car the car works. You have heard that the engine is running smooth. It's quiet. It's gonna be smoky for a while because there's still some oil in the exhaust. Even though I caught it, I welded it. There's some um, oil left, especially and in, in the combustion chamber too. Because when you take out the valve stem seal, some of the oil gets inside and the engine just needs to like burn it off <sighs> and it's the end of the project i still have to bolt in the engine cover from the bottom and stuff like that but it's just we don't need to show it especially since it's out under the car and i'm not like, too good at recording stuff under the car so i hope you like this very quick serious series uh, about the re, re Let's call it redemption um, because the first compact, my Nemesis uh, flip project was terrible, went terrible and this is the second project that went a lot better. Let's call it a redemption and uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next, what the future will bring for us. So anybody who's gonna get this car buy this car uh, it's going to have something very cool that is going to drive reliably for a while uh, it's it just I think I deserve a high five a self five well done me so thank you for watching one more episode or two more episodes with this car will come up but it's not nothing we won't do anything I'm just gonna talk a lot so thanks for watching See you next time. Bye.